Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I'll be showing you how to make a fairy garden. This was a really fun project to do with my little boy. We had a lot of fun being creative and decorating this little garden to turn it into a magical fairy garden. So let's grab some supplies and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to need is some plants for a terrarium. Um, if you haven't already seen my succulent and desert terrarium tutorial, you'll want to check that out. Out. In that I go into more detail about how to create a desert style terrarium with succulents. Now the plants I picked out for this tutorial I want it to look like little miniature trees and have some different textures different sizes because after all we're creating a magical fairy garden so I wanted some different plants that look like trees and shrubs and somewhere that a fairy might live. Um, you can click on the link up in the right hand corner actually click on the video and it will take you to the tutorial where I go into more detail about how to create your succulent terrarium. So you'll also need some soil and you'll notice here that I have a cactus and succulent potting soil. You'll want to make sure that the soil you're using is specific to the plants that you're planting. I have some activated carbon or activated charcoal and what this does is helps to keep our terrarium fresh. It will help as the water filters through the dirt um, to keep the water nice and clean and so our uh, terrarium won't smell funny. And you can see this just comes in little pellets. I actually found this at my local pet store. I get a lot of questions about this as to whether or not normal charcoal will, will work and you do actually want the activated charcoal. They're very different. Then I have some fun sands and some different kinds of glass to decorate my little terrarium or my little garden. Um, these are some pieces of crushed glass that I got from Ikea. Um, also some fun sands. Be creative. Um, rocks from your garden. Lots of different fun things that you can put in it. You can also buy a lot of really creative and unique types of fairy garden furniture and houses from your craft store. I actually made this little house and I will be posting a tutorial soon on how to create this little house. Um, with it, I'll also include a pattern for the house. This is made out of polymer clay and it was really fast and easy to make and cost me a lot less than purchasing one at my craft store. Another thing that I have to put in my little fairy garden are these cute little whimsical mushrooms. Uh, I also have a tutorial. You can click on the link up in the upper right hand corner and it will take you to a tutorial where I teach you how to make these cute little mushrooms out of polymer clay. This is fun because it just adds a little bit of whimsical um, magic to your fairy garden. And then I have these sweet little polymer clay flowers also. So click on that tutorial up in the right hand corner and it will take you to a tutorial on how to make these little decorations for your fairy garden. Another thing I decided to add to my little fairy garden are these flags and I just made these out of two little bamboo skewers and some string and some paper and it was really easy. There are so many different kinds of fun paper to pick from that this was a great way to add a little bit of whimsy and color to my garden. And then I also am adding this little fairy garden uh, sign to my fairy garden. You could also do uh, your child's name on this. Here is my cute little niece Mila. I made a fairy garden for her and this is a little flag that I made to put in her little garden. So I will be posting a tutorial on how to make those coming very soon, so watch for that. And then we have our container. Now I'm using a glass container. I like the glass because you can see all the way into the bottom. Um, I I'm going to be spraying it with this glass cleaner. This is called Rain-X and it helps prevent um, fog. It helps to keep the glass nice and clean looking. So I'm just going to give this a quick spritz and clean it out. If you don't have this absolutely fine, just make sure that you're starting with a very clean container. Now, uh, like I mentioned, if you've already made a terrarium with me, you'll just want to follow along with those instructions. You can see I'm taking just an, a couple inches of the rocks and placing them in the bottom of the container. And I'm kind of pushing them towards the back since my container has a little bit of a slant to it. Then I'm adding my activated charcoal to keep the water nice and fresh. Once again, I go through more detailed instructions in my cactus and succulent terrarium tutorial. Now I've had a lot of people get very worried 
that the roots on your plants are going to rot because there isn't a way for the water to drain out of the bottom. Uh, that is why we put the rocks and that is why we put the activated charcoal. It does give a layer um, for your roots to breathe and I have not had any problems whatsoever with my terrariums. I made a couple last year that are absolutely beautiful and thriving and very happy and growing like crazy. So you don't need to worry about the roots, having problem with the roots in a closed container as long as you give it space for the rocks and add some activated charcoal. Then I added my dirt and I left a little bit of space in the top. I'm going to grab my plants and I'm going to kind of place them around um, and kind of get an idea for, I, for where I want them to sit. You want to make sure that you don't have any of the glass or uh, the plants um, leaning directly against the glass. Um, and then I just started to arrange my plants in my terrarium. I like to break the roots apart just a little bit and then once I have them situated where I, I like them I'm going to firmly press them down and so that they're nice and snug in my little glass container. And then I took this little paintbrush and kind of brushed off all the leaves to keep it nice and clean. Uh, little paintbrush is really helpful in a terrarium or any type of small garden for keeping it nice and clean. And you can see I'm going to grab some water and just give my terrarium a light watering. We don't want to get it too wet. Uh, the nice thing about the terrarium is that the water will go down to the bottom and then as it evaporates back up through the roots, it keeps it watered for a much longer time. And for me, that is a bonus because I'm terrible at watering plants and so my terrariums seem to do really well because I can ignore them for longer and they continue to grow beautifully. Now I'm grabbing my sand and I'm going to just start to sprinkle it around and decide where I want to place the different elements of my fairy garden. So I decided to place some of my sand down and decide where I wanted my house and I nestled my house back in kind of against what I would call the trees. And then I'm going to grab a spoon and grab this crushed glass and kind of lay it um, around. I did a little path out of the sand and now I'm going to lay the, grass, the glass to the sides so it looks like grass. I loved the reflection of the broken glass. It makes it look sparkly and a lot more magical like I would imagine a fairy garden would be. So just using the spoon, I'm going to carefully place the glass in around the different plants. And then I'm going to grab my cute little mushrooms and decide where I want to place these. I loved the pop of color that the, these added. I also just love how whimsical and fun the little mushrooms are. Then I'm going to grab some of my little flowers and kind of place those around. This is another fun, very easy and very inexpensive way to add pops of color. And then I'm taking my cute little fairy flags and I'm going to place those over the house, welcoming everyone to my fairy garden. And I'm going to grab my little flag that says fairy garden and place that in it as well. And that's it guys. You are all set. You have taken a very simple terrarium and added a little bit of magic to it to create this fun fairy garden. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please post those below. Please stay tuned for my fairy garden house tutorial coming soon and also the tutorial for the flags. I will be posting that as soon as possible. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be amazing. And if you liked this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out some of my other tutorials. Here's one for a tropical terrarium that I created once again, my terrariums I did about a year ago and they're still thriving and happy as can be. So be sure to check those out if you're interested in terrariums and check out some of the other fun tutorials on my YouTube channel. You can also uh, check those out at untidyartist.com. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.